Hey, what's going on everybody? Zach Katz here. In today's video, we're taking a look at Walgreens Series 2.5 Shield Armor Spider-Man and Power Man. Now, it's not Power Man as in Victor Alvarez, it's Luke Cage from the Spider-Man Web Warriors TV show. And it's nice to get him. Now we just need Iron Fist and the White Tiger and we'll have the team. So let's look at Shield Armor Spider-Man first. Now, Shield Armor Spider-Man is from an episode where Spider-Man needed some added assistance. So Nick Fury hooked him up with some armor that's made with some pretty serious tech. It says on the box, Vibrari Vibranium Adamantium Armor. So to mix the two is probably the toughest metal known to man, right? Anyway... So Spider-Man, as you see, is decked out in some armor, a helmet, some, some shoulder pads, and a cool-looking gun. So let's grab the gun out of his hand and take a closer look at Spidey and his specs. So you can see there's the detailing on the T-piece and on the legs. Uh, painting goes around, but the detailing stops. Uh, the arms are painted. You have the Spider-Man webbing on the shoulders. I will take the shoulder piece off in a second and show you what's underneath. Um, but the shoulder pads itself, done in gray and has a really cool spider logo on the back. So the coolest part of it is on the back. So that's, I don't know how you'll, you impose them like, like that or something. I don't know. Anyway, so Take a look at his head and the armor. Looks like a magneto helmet of some sort. So it does come off. Let's practice in earlier. There we go. And then you have Spider-Man's head underneath. It's not I'm a stickler for having it lined up perfectly, so just off a smidge there but you don't see it too well underneath the helmet, so it's not the biggest of deals. And then he has the spider detailing. So it didn't have to be there because it's covered up, but it's there anyway, so that's nice. Put the head back on there. You can move it side to side, but it doesn't get any movement right to left or up and down. Um, obviously the shoulder is hindered so you can't get full range of motion with the arms. Then the gun is a new sculpt. At least I've never seen that before. So that's pretty neat. All right. So let's slide Spidey out of the way. Oh. So, not Victor Alvarez, although it would fit in just fine, probably, because they're very similar costumes. But it's nice to have Luke. I like Luke Cage. He's a cool character. So, one thing I don't like about this Mini Mate is that he looks bald if you have him straight on. It's like, to me, he looks bald. Maybe that's just me, but I like have to have him slightly looking down so you can see he's not bald but I think he's full paint I like the yellow he's got a lot of detailing on the arms there it goes on to the back he's got the yellow on his hands there there's muscle detailing on the legs there's no ab detailing but you see some ribs so he got some detailing on his feet some silver or gray, and then the yellow on his back. He does come with a couple accessories. So his default head right there, he has some sort of rimus, I think. And then on the second alternative head, they do that a lot in this series, give you alternate expressions, which I think is really cool. It gives you purpose maybe to buy a figure twice. So this one looks like 
I don't know. <laughs> if I couldn't figure out what the first one was, I'm really at a loss for words on this one. So there's a little excess white there, looks like he's drooling. So I know he's not drunk or anything, but maybe he just got kicked somewhere really sensitive and he's like trying to recover. I don't know, like, it's like, uh, I don't know. Anyway, he also comes with uh, some stone concrete tablets that we've seen with Hulk and Avalanche and some other characters. Um, they're not gonna fit in his hands. They can fit in bigger hands, but um, what I do with these is sometimes I just put them on the ground and it looks like maybe he stepped on it or he's breaking concrete. So maybe just add a little bit to your display. I gotta get this head off and that's the biggest fan of it. So anyway, so we're just a few more characters away from completing the Spider-Man crew. So we have Spider-Man, obviously, and Nova, with the addition of Luke Cage, Power Man, and uh, if you want to include Nick Fury and Coulson, um, yeah, we're almost there. So, uh, cool set if you want to continue to build up your Spider-Man TV show team. Uh, it's a must-get, because Luke's important to that team, but um, not my favorite of the series, but... Uh, Still cool nonetheless. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please hit like. If you want to comment if this was your favorite uh, favorite set of the series and you completely disagree and you want to argue with me, you can comment that below. Um, or you can tell me what you look forward to coming out in the line. Squirrel Girl, maybe. Um, share with a friend, please. And, uh, of course, have a great rest of your day. Take care.